This video is brought to you by Jones Transmission Cooling Systems. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can save 5% on your Jones Transmission Cooling Pump. Why would you hold numbers with a very consistent car? After all, with a really good car, aren't you more likely to turn on a wind light dialing honest? Nowadays, the parts and technology that we equip our race cars with have produced a field of cars that can repeat lap after lap after lap. It's not uncommon to see great race cars running within a hundredth of a second throughout an entire day, maybe even an entire weekend on a really great racetrack with consistent weather conditions. So you might be asking yourself, why on earth would I not dial honest? My car is stellar and the likelihood of me driving the stripe better than my car hitting the dial is slim to none. My answer to that question is simple. You're right. I'm not gonna argue against that fact. Most times I do believe that my own race car is likely to be closer to the dial than I am able to tighten the stripe to. But sometimes I still make the decision to hold some even with a super consistent race car. The reason is that although I do believe my car is likely to be better than I am at the finish, there's a second factor that most racers often forget to consider, and that is your opponent. You see, it really comes down to what is most likely to turn on a wind light in your lane. And as contradictory as it may sound, that may not always be doing whatever puts you closest to the dial. Let's pretend that you're dialed honest and you have a great race car. You're even hitting the tree pretty well. With all things considered, let's just say you have a 60% chance of turning on the wind light in a particular round. Now consider everything being exactly the same, only you're holding three hundredths. In my situation, I can't kill the three hundredths with near as much precision as I can dial my car to go low dead on, but with a combination of practice, good discipline, and some good record keeping, I can get almost as good. Like I can get pretty good, but I'll probably never have quite as much confidence as I would if I was dialing my car to go low dead on and leave it on the mat. So let's just pretend that maybe I only have a 55% chance of turning on the wind light in this situation, we're just making up numbers here. This is the kind of thinking that leads most racers to choose the honest dial most of the time. But again, the missing factor here is your opponent and their likelihood of making a mistake. Let me tell you, I love racing against someone who's dialed honest. There's nothing better than wheeling up on an opponent and they're giving you a clean wheel to look at. What's difficult is wheel racing against somebody who's a moving target. And that's exactly what you are when you're not dialed honest. So looking back at the situation where I'm holding three and I have the 55% chance of turning on the wind light, now you begin to introduce a lot more of a probability of your opponent making a mistake. You're no longer showing them that clean wheel and your ability to either push them out to a breakout or even make them dump early and give you room is just a little higher. With all this considered, perhaps your probability of a wind light jumps up to 65%. So obviously these numbers are completely made up, but you can begin to see why it may be advantageous to hold some numbers even with a super consistent race car. This leads us to the next question, how much should you hold? In my opinion, this depends on two things. The first is just your ability to drive the finish line straight. I tend to lean more on what I'm good at. Am I confident that I can kill three hundredths with at least a fair bit of precision? Probably. Am I confident that I can kill eight hundredths? Not at all, not with any precision. The second thing to consider is what I normally base my decisions on, and that is my reaction times. So many times I've heard something like, yeah, if you're holding, you pretty much have to have the tree. Like you have to have the light if you're holding. Like that's the only way it's gonna work. Look, I hold because I have sucky reaction times. There's many days at the racetrack where I'm apt to be 20 on the tree. On those days, I'm probably gonna hold two. 
There's days at the racetrack where I'm apt to be 30 on the tree. On those days, I'm probably gonna be holding three. That way, I am able to manipulate track position and represent a perfect lap on the racetrack, further inducing mistakes from my opponent. 20 on the tree and two under looks perfect to your opponent. Couple that with the discipline to kill the two with as much precision as possible, and I guarantee you'll be turning on more wind lights than being 20 and dialed honest. If you haven't caught on yet, none of this works without having a very predictable, very consistent race car. And one way to improve consistency is courtesy of today's video sponsor, Jones Transmission Cooling Systems. The Jones Transmission Cooling System helps keep transmission fluid temperatures in check all throughout race day, even in the late rounds when it really matters. If you're someone who likes to double enter and run round robin, then the Jones pump is key to maintaining consistent transmission temperatures. Visit jonestransmissionpumps.com or call 724-344-1156 to learn more. And don't forget to use discount code GALLSTAR5 to save 5% on your order. So there you have it. Now you know why you might consider holding some numbers even with a super consistent race car. This always seems to be a bit of a hot button topic in our sport, so be sure to voice your opinion down in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and visiting the Gall Star TV swag shop to support the creation of videos just like this one. I will see you guys in the next one later.